Okay, we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Mel and Tony under the tree chat. We are here again. Another special, special show for you. We're bringing you live from Nassau, Bahamas, and Gambia. And um, Melanie is playing Christian today, you know, so because the rain outside, we take the show inside. And Melly, you look a little bright on the camera. You know, your, your face, the, <laughs> and I look a little handsome. I know you, you can, but anyhow, we're having a show today, but I have to, like the old people say, pay some bills. Go ahead. Yeah, I got some stuff. And I want to send condolences to the family of the Francis family. Um, oh, dear. Yeah, their son has, uh, son has died. In the family, Carlton Francis has died. Richard was my former brand law, but he always my brand law. He always he always a nice guy, treat respect and well. And so the the family of the Francis is going through their pain. And I just want to send condolence out to them. Yeah, I had my condolence yeah, to you. Yeah, and I hope two sons and the passing of their uncle. Yep, and I hope and pray. Uh, Davina, my former wife, and Carol, and Andre, and Christopher, all of them, you know, understand that we all got to pass that road. I know it's a tough time, but we hope and pray that the Lord keep them strong in this brief time. And so it's going to be all right. I know it's going to be all right. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah, Melanie. Yeah, and I actually had, on a brighter side, I yes. had a lovely photo to show you of one of your favorite followers. Today, yeah. her son got married, and I'm like, girl, what did you leave for the bride? Yeah, you mean she takes steel in the show? Stunning. That's one thing with these don't be him and woman. They, <laughs> they're always now, trying to outdo the bride. I tell you that to get on yeah, there. Are, but, okay? But they are all trying to outdo Awesome. She's beautiful black woman and she Man, is I, rocking. I wish her I had a chance to talk about it. I wish she had a chance to come to the show. I tell her, we're trying to listen, don't try to do the bride. And I know you try to, I know you go and buy the expensive clothes and special yeah, hats. She looks shoes. really, really stunning. I'm, I'm going to show you it after the show. Yeah, because I can make comments. Wow. Yeah. But married. yeah, congratulations to her second son who. Has taken on a bride today. Yeah, he's a lucky man. Well, Andrews people like to get married. Well, I can sing to that. Yeah, <laughs> let me leave that one. Anyhow, but, and interestingly, on the day that we are talking about the fallout after marriage that's breakdown, something, right? and the dude mm -hmm. going and get married, happy wife, happy life. So, buddy, you gotta learn that. If any advice I give you. Let, 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 me, let me say this now, why is I here? Women speak with their mouth. Yap, 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 yap. They may say the wrong things, we speak with their mouth. Man speak with their silence. So anything you learn with this marriage, when you're getting in this marriage, let a woman beat up a mouth, because that's what she got, and that's all her power, let her beat up a mouth. But pay no attention. Just remember that. Because if you pay too much attention, boy, your marriage can be like mine's. Break right up. <laughs> I must tell you, there ain't much. There ain't much. But let me say this before we get into the marriage talk. I got a boy, I got a juicy day for you all. With Melanie, the rain came. Wonder why the rain came, Melanie. We couldn't go outside. It's that kind of weather forecast. We can go outside. So we had to do a show inside. Mm -hmm. But I still remain, what a beautiful day. It is, it is. yeah. It turned out, the water, weather, it turned out to be beautiful because it's beautiful enough for us to come inside. So some of you all black people who like to go outside and who like to be outside, causing havoc, glad you all inside. So it's enough for that. Let me take our topic. Ah, oh, boy, this can be a great day. Glad you think so, Tony. What? This can be a great day. I got all kind of people asking all kind of questions, but I can get to them. 
I can like open so I can bust them up later. Later? Yeah. You sure? Later? You yeah, won't get, bust them before no, I get started? No, I can get to them because okay. they try and trick me. Okay. I don't want nobody trying to try and trick me. Okay. So we're going to get right into the yeah, topic they ask me. Yeah. on this beautiful, great day that God has given us. Boy, listen. I inside the with you. end of Holy Week. I inside with you. You know, beautiful that is. Okay. I in the hot sun, but you try to burn. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> well, you know, inside or out, I always have my mop, right? You see that how they go. Yeah. But anyhow, what's our topic again? Aftermath of marriage breakdown. Mm, so I can preach today. This is my topic. You're going to preach. Yeah, I, I take this on on church one time. So mm -hmm. I. I can take us a day. I can okay. take us. But okay. I want to preach to the married couple. Who you want to preach to? The single ones. Okay. You mean preparing them yeah. to make sure that they know that they know that they know that they in this thing no. for a long time? I try to let them single one know. Somebody asked me a question so I can answer at the same time. Let them know when you dating and you live together, mm -hmm. you ain't married. Well, so, according to you, yeah, after seven years, yeah, that's common married. law. Yeah, but you ain't married by the Lord, or you ain't married by biblical times, or you ain't married by the book. I, you I'm married not, by Caesar. I'm not sure that you could say that. I, mm -hmm. I, I could disagree with you in that, but I will let you run your course. Okay. So yeah, you could disagree. You make a difference. You disagree anyhow. But so, <laughs> so I know we'll, it don't make a so we we'll right along. So, when you living in the house with a woman and dying your wife, when trouble come, you can leave. You don't have to stay there because dying your wife, you ain't going to God and you ain't sign no paper. And you you can leave. So you sound like if if you married to them and you sign the paper, you gotta stay. You should stay. Says who? The Lord above. No, says who? The Lord above. He, that's what he told you. He told me by the Bible. Are you sure says, the Bible is the source that what? you should be say relying when, on for that say kind of when, advice? He said, when you marry, you become one. And you know what that means? Two monkeys together, two monkey things. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to preach on this biblical time. So if you become one, if I go out and sweetheart, you should forgive me. And that's what the books say. See, all us around him, walking around, saying you're Christian, but ain't got no forgiveness in your heart. So I can preach today. Oh, this is my dear preaching. Now you're talking to a woman today. You know, they they like, they say I talk <laughs> to a woman. Yeah. Every day. I, I so tempted to, to, okay. to, tell to say what you want to say. Two things, two things in yeah. that same book. Go ahead. Say, well, the book say, he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone mm -hmm. and cast the moat over your own eyes right. <laughs> before you try to cast it on somebody else's. Right. But if I married to you mm -hmm. and if I do anything that's portraying you against you then you beg forgiveness i beg for forgiveness so the person have to extend yeah forgiveness but to the you. problem in marriage is we can talk about after marriage when it mm -hmm. break up mm -hmm. but we get there mm -hmm. the problem in marriages today especially in the younger people they have no forgiveness they have no tolerance they they don't think about long time because see let me tell you something you ever thought about this if you're a good man, the only thing you could change to is a bad man. No, you could change to a bad one. No, it don't go that way. Yes, it should. No, because guess what? So a bad man Sh should get better. Right, a bad man at being better. good. Yeah, or he could get better at being bad. Yeah, but a bad man, he could become better. And a good man could get better. And too. a good man turned to be worse. That's what happens. It don't. Go no, we get better. When you're good, you're good. And when you change from good, you go bad. And when you're bad, <laughs> you you're don't go bad. Right. And so, and so in marriages, if your husband or your boyfriend is bad, mm -hmm. 
and he does something and he asks for forgiveness, he could get better. Now, most of them, especially here in the Bahamas, they don't get better. That's what you're trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what you're trying to say. Mm. But I still remain that if you have a person with good heart, they mightn't be doing everything right, but they got good heart. So, so, so that goes both ways, right? So if the woman have a good heart and she go out there, mm -hmm. the man should forgive, for, should forgive her. Yeah, you should have. And vice versa. Mm. But the problem we have here in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. especially in the Bahamas, we have no love and no forgiveness for love. We have no forgiveness for the heart. Like the heart is now become hardened. The Bible talks about the heart, you know. <sighs> say what you want to say. I, I am thinking that <laughs> I am thinking that we should exclude the Bible from our discussion. Okay, fine. The way we do politics, because I every time we have these discussions, mm -hmm. I always have to say, you know, not everybody <laughs> live by the, the Bible. I know that. Holy Bible. Majority of people don't but live by the Bible. The, Thank you. Okay, so let's talk with the majority of people. Let's talk with the majority of people. Majority of people, in the first thing happened in their marriage, mm -hmm. they think about running. Yes. And you know why? Why? It's easy to run. Yes. And, and, and it's and, the direction of least resistance. Right. Because when you stay in the situation, especially if there is an open communication. Mm -hmm. Most people who run, run because they realize it don't make no sense mm -hmm. trying. Yeah, but this show is based on you running too. We changing this. Uh, yeah, we're trying culture. to get. Trying to change the culture. We're trying to get yeah. people to see we're the trying, benefit. Yeah, because I believe. Mm -hmm. Get myself in trouble. I believe when a man goes out, Mm -hmm. Sleep with a woman, mm -hmm. not necessarily. He does it in love. Okay. I, I believe he that does. that that I have heard from many men. Yeah. Or the other flip side to it is that because he went out and slept with someone else, it doesn't mean that he doesn't love the person that he's with. Yeah, I think. I think that men, some men who goes out and screw around, mm -hmm. that's the word we use, mm -hmm. right? is looking for something. Like? More than he gets at home. Okay. Now, let me, let me explain some of the things and then we get back to our show. Mm -hmm. we go, we'll be on our show, mm -hmm. but I don't I will explain this. I said it's gonna preach, but I gotta explain this in depth now. I won't go in depth. Go ahead. See, when you take me and say you love me, mm -hmm. and I now start questioning your love. Mm -hmm. Now we talk about both parties, man and woman. Mm -hmm. And I started to question your love in so many different ways, mm -hmm. even in sexual mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. Even in your attention, even in the way you walk with me. Now, let me explain, let me break that down, break them all down. And when I talk, I'm going deep now. I'm going deep, 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 deep. Mm -hmm. See, you could be making love to me in the bed mm -hmm. and telling me with your mouth you love me. Mm -hmm. But the sex do the talking okay. at this moment, mm -hmm. not genuine love. Okay. See. In intercourse, man especially will tell the woman everything she wants to hear. You mean to get it or during? No, during it. Okay. During it. During intercourse. He tell you everything. You sweet, you I love you, honey, and this good, mm -hmm. and this that, mm -hmm. that. But you know something? Mm -hmm. You let action speak. The action outside of the bed. No, apart no, the, uh, from the sex. No, no, we get into that. The, I'm going from the in, in sexual. Oh, the action, the action, the of, mm -hmm. activity, 
during the process. During the process, because mm -hmm. all that word, and all that talk mm -hmm. is just talk. Okay. You see, um, what with the action, what you have, the moment of truth, because the true feeling has stepped in. It. Because the feeling of, we get the bear, mm -hmm. the feeling of answer and call. Mm -hmm. Your body should react to this relationship, love, deep rooted. So all this talk is basically just talk mm -hmm. that you trying to rile this boring thing going on. So you trying to spice it up with your words, and this is a very dead. So you try to spice. So continue. Watch the road they're going. Follow me. And so now, when you come in actual love relationship, where you now action of showing it mm -hmm. out of the bed. That was in bed. Mm -hmm. Now you actually show out of the bed. Mm -hmm. It's probably not efficient that what you do in the bed. See, see, the bed is where the, the whole thing come to head. Mm -hmm. That's when the I give you all of my best of me. Okay. Okay? So that's my final for women now. We talk about they, are, they think that's the world. I just give you the world and this is my um, what do you call it? My family jewel. And so or now my I, crown. Jewel. Yeah, your crown. The end of basically it all. the best of me. Because I hold it sacred. Yeah. But now you hold it sacred. Mm -hmm. Now, but here is it. The best of you, basically, mm -hmm. that's what you think. That's what you think. The man believes that's the best of it. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. You have to display that now in action. The way you treat me every day. See, don't take me there and try to fool me because I watch you before you get there. Mm -hmm. Your action before you take me to bed and make all that noise and talk mm -hmm. all that foolishness. Mm -hmm. For me, I get there. All that is to me is a game. Okay. Okay. So now if, if you don't treat me well before we get there, mm -hmm. see, because to get in there, it has to be emotional, all this emotional in impact and all this to be right. If it's not right, you will know. A woman will know. A man will know. So relationship is based before you get there. See, all this emotional building up to it, that's what we call that. But really, now I can tell you why I go on there. Really, that not that one thing can't hold a relationship. Even though a woman think that's what really the man want. That can't hold a relationship. What holds the relationship? Genuine love. How do you know genuine love? You will feel it. You will know it. You will hear it in your sleep. You will hear your heart. See, when you when I walk in the room, if you love me. Mm -hmm. Your body start moving all over the place. Now we talking about but we talking about just you so happy to see me, you so happy for me to come in the house, mm -hmm. you dying to cook the food for me, you dying mm -hmm. to feed me, you dying to do things for me, you dying just to be with me. So basically, there is a eagerness, there is a excitement, there is receptiveness. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there is the energy exchange that takes mm. place between the two so, individuals. So that is not going to hold me. That sex you give me, that can't hold me. Okay, so all the other things have to be uh, you have to evident. Be. Yeah, because when the sex on, and you mm. get old, and you can't straight talk, you can't open up your leg, or you can't do the thing, mm. or, you, or I can't perform no more. Right. You are still love me with something, right? Okay. So when I, and so we men say you mm -hmm. make me happy. It take you to make me happy. Okay. No, it's, it ain't you to make me happy. It is you keeps me energized. Okay. 
Because happiness comes really, from within. Yeah. The individual. Let's get there before we get in this. No, that's actually Marcy. Swift. Hi, Marcy. Hey, Marcy. How you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Mm. Beryl is at the wedding. You forget. Oh, oh, excited about that. Oh, Marcy, I love you. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And so, so Marcy is saying, yes, you should get better. Yeah. You should get better. And so, when you have this relationship built on miscalculation. See, some most relationship built on miscalculation, a hit and a miss. I was down and lonely and you helped me and you bring me up. Mm -hmm. from, but, but all that is, you catch me in the downtime. Okay, and so because I was there for you mm -hmm. in the downtime. That's woman now. Really? Yeah, woman feel that kind of way. Woman... I, you know what? I can just stay with him because he's a nice guy. And he was there for me. Yeah, that's a woman. But when the woman was there for the man, when he was down, mm -hmm. that don't factor into his journey or what it is that he is after. No, no. Mm -hmm. Food for thought, ladies. Yeah, most times. So you provided without expecting him to love you or to be bound to you because of the kindness that you exhibited at his low point. Yeah. Get it. So I only there at my low point. And get... you were there and I appreciate it, but hey, that yeah. don't make let's... us married. Yeah. That don't make you marriage material. Yeah. Let, let's look at it. Let's look mm -hmm. at it. Valencia, all your let me say this I get myself in trouble. Really honestly and truly most times dudes get pulled out the rug and they stay around because the sex, free sex, I get it on time. Even if the it ain't good. Yeah, the woman clean, the woman is like, yes, accept that. I mean, that's so that sounds crazy to you, right? So what, but is, that's it, real. what is it that I, I keep, you realize I keep asking you? Why do you think some people write this question? Why do you think some people they, What yes. is it that men are looking for? Well, we're looking for the fool. So you got the fool, but you still no, no, looking. no, 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 no. So give me the characteristics no. of the fool, please. The fool is one who lied to me mm -hmm. and make me think that I am the world. So you're the fool. She ain't the fool. No, <laughs> no because she thinks she's fooling me. So I now need to let her know. That her game ain't big as mine. So the game, it's a game, it's on. Mm -hmm. So I so the more she more she shows up and act this professional or this good woman mm -hmm. role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, man don't really want a good woman. I'll tell you why. See, good woman ain't good in bed. Good woman trying to keep an image. That's interesting. Yeah, good woman ain't good in bed. Most good woman still trying to Hold out in bed because I can't let you have all of this. If I have you all this, they still hold out. If I let you have all this, then you 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 know the whole of me. See, good woman still trying well, to man hold out as well. I don't yeah, know exactly. But good in woman which way. is always trying to be good. Everything she does, she, when you go stop and trip over something, let me explain. Especially in bed, woman still trying. Mm -hmm. to, she's still trying to come to bed with panties on, a towel on, and the, that's not that's not that, that that's not gonna cut it. See, a man want a sassy thing now and then. Don't mind him talk, but oh, I want a church woman. But and the brother Brett, he's saying she better be a jungle in bed. And that's right. I don't know, but you, I'm a man, but I I will take your word for that it. That is true, and so. But let's go why marriages crash. This is where we're trying to mm -hmm. suss. And then we can go where what causes why it's so bad. Okay. Why why it's so bad to break up. Mm -hmm. People don't understand it is bad to divorce because most women who divorce once mm -hmm. will divorce again. Okay. And, and divorce again. Why? Because when a woman divorce, see, if a woman loves you, 
her first husband. Mm -hmm. She can do everything to keep her husband, her mm -hmm. first husband. Mm -hmm. So when she give up that first husband, mm -hmm. everything else can catch up. So she, what about a man? She's not going to put up a no This guy, her words going to be, that's a sign I saw before. And so she's going to be ready for every step of the way. And be now very difficult. that, that is dysfunctional. Yeah, she becomes dysfunctional. It's dysfunctional because what I, the breath that I breathed yesterday is not the breath that I'm breathing today. Uh -huh. So if we was to take that and transfer that into our life experience, no two individuals are alike. And what she hasn't done, and it happened with men too, is she has not learned to improve in her communication no, skills. It don't happen to men. Because the reason it don't happen. Men, men don't forgive. Men, men, as a matter of fact, when a woman would marry two and three times, most men, especially behemoth men, when they didn't do it once, they ain't doing it again. You gotta drag them like but you know why? You know why? Why? Because men are smart. They think they smart. Okay, well, you can say that. But let me explain why they smart. Mm -hmm. Most time a man divorce his wife, mm -hmm. he go for a younger woman. Okay. And the reason being, he control the situation. So that's what they're after. Yeah. After the control factor. Yeah. He he gonna make sure that when I go to this next relationship or I marry again, mm -hmm. I have woman, full control. The woman will be young. So you marry a younger woman, mm -hmm. someone who is more dependent mm -hmm. on you uh -huh. and who doesn't have the experience. Exactly. And the younger person subject to change. Me and you all together. But also... Now, we, see, the younger person coming with the new ideas. Which you are very open to when yes. you have the controlling because, mindset. Because me and you, me and you is married now. Huh? Me and you come from the same background or nose. Mm -hmm. You, I could tell a young person, let's have a threesome. And they'll think about it and won't do it. Oh, now I understand. Yeah. You, so it, it's you come basically from a what you're saying is that you have a greater influence on a younger exactly. person. Not that they are more open, open. Yeah. but they, because of their dependence, because of their inexperience, mm -hmm. And maybe because of the fact that she wants to keep whatever it is that you are bringing to the table flowing, she go with whatever it is that you suggest. Um, I would like for Lindsay to have a conversation with me if she's there. Because I, Marcia. I, Marcia, to have a conversation with me because Marcia probably is married before. Right? She is married. Oh, she's married. And she's married to a Christian. I couldn't. Okay. And she's just a first Marcia marriage. Marcia be a This is a first marriage. It's a first and only marriage. Yeah. Okay. I think she's been married for. Over 15, uh, over 20 years. She lives in the States. No, she lives here. Oh, she lives in Bahamas. So she's, she well, she well, see, she's from the old school. Okay. Okay. From the old school, she believe in her marriage. So she will put up with or turn her eye to certain things. You, I don't understand, I don't uh -huh. understand that being the case because. Mm -hmm. According to the general perception of Bahamian men towards Bahamian women is that we don't know when to shut up. We can't satisfy. No, you, you, and, and of course, we definitely don't give you the control that you want. Well, well in the Bahamas, most men... And give the woman the control. But and then hide behind mm -hmm. that and say, you don't let me do this. If you right. let me do this. Right. But you happy that she takes the control. Yeah, because most behemoth men somehow is lazy. Yeah, but you're quick to blame. Yes. Quick to blame the woman yes, for we are. all the wrongs, yeah. all the ills. And you know what? I give We're you, talking about that I give you after... money. I give you the money to get sugar. Mm -hmm. But I, I expect you to bring the cheapest sugar. I expect you to bring the good sugar. You're trying to stretch the money. I expect you to bring the good sugar. 
Well, you gonna be no shit. So I gotta, we gotta have a conversation. And you know, as we, as you said that, and I came to head on with our discussion about the aftermath of marriage breakdown. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, after about a year of being married to a Bahamian man, the breakdown already started. Sometimes the breakdown was before they even reached the altar. Because the truth is... But the woman still proceeded the, with it. Because I talk about it earlier. That's what I was talking about. The marriage was based on phoniness. It wasn't based on... No, it was... Way. I wouldn't call it phoniness. You, I would call it out of a need. Okay, okay. Or maybe even out of desperation. You are pretty. That. Or you, out of you social it. pressure. You Most times the marriage is based on something other than the marriage. Other than love between yeah, the two individuals. Right. And so what has happened, let's take on that topic. Mm -hmm. So what has happened when this marriage done on the rocks, as we call it, mm -hmm. and broken up after mm -hmm. years, you know what happens? Tell me. This is the worst thing ever happened to a relationship. Because it's very difficult for it to come back. It's very difficult to come back where it was. And it ain't, ain't going to get no better. It ain't that difficult. You it know. is. But tell you why it is. Because children involved with children being affected. Family being affected. Family turning against one another. Family be affected. See, everybody, because they only hear your story, your side. Then when they hear my side, mm -hmm. it's totally different because I'm... You the come in is, from your stance and yeah. she come in from hers. Right. And that is why mediation mm -hmm. of a counselor is so important. Well, but before the mediation, there are some critical factors that was missing in that union to begin with, mm -hmm. such as listening to each other mm -hmm. and not only listening when I speak mm -hmm. and hearing me, but understanding not only what I'm saying, but where I'm coming from and what I am seeking to achieve. When you highlight to an individual um, your dislike, they shut down. You highlight to them something that they did, they shut down. There is no room for growth. How do you expect a marriage to be sustained when everyone is so thin-skinned, so sensitive to anything, no matter how nice you say it? See, um, in a relationship, men are so sexual, right? Yes. So if he, in his mind, believe that he can't have his sex on time mm -hmm. he then turn in a beast what he does one way yeah yeah he turn a beast uh -huh. and once, or he turn a punk yeah but but most time they turn a beast let me mm -hmm. let me explain mm -hmm. so they started subtly with their mouth mm -hmm. complaining yeah mm -hmm. and they started disrespecting mm -hmm. Once they started disrespecting, then the, the woman withdraws. Yeah, but but the hurt inside. What's yeah, that? the hurt inside. So hurt brings hurt. Right. So you hurt me. Mm -hmm. So I hurt you in return. And so when, that's and when he speaks now, he don't speak with love no more. He's speaking mm -hmm. from, a but he's speaking from his heart. But it's and from hurt. a place of hurt. And so when he says these words, don't ask me nothing. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Um, why are you asking me this? So, the watch now. Mm -hmm. The bed mm -hmm. is being hurt. Mm -hmm. And because men are so sexual, it creeps in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And once it keeps in the kitchen, because the wife starts withdrawing, mm -hmm. the food ain't nice mm -hmm. no more, and she is throwing it together. The and she ain't has yeah. changed. And so once now it moved from the kitchen mm -hmm. to outside the yard, mm -hmm. It moves into somebody else's house. Okay. And once that moves into somebody's house, that means most times the man getting it somewhere else. Somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That is the monster 
Now, let me explain why and it's what, dangerous. Mm-hmm. I'm going to explain okay. how it becomes dangerous. All right. When a man goes out mm-hmm. and meet a woman mm-hmm. and they have a relationship away from home mm-hmm. and they have a sexual encounter, mm-hmm. what has happened by the man having sexual intercourse? With he, another? He, uh-huh. Him and her injected. Mm-hmm. That woman, spirit comes home to the wife mm-hmm. and he brings that spirit into the wife, mm-hmm. and the wife now has that spirit. Okay. The spirit is now fighting internally in the bodies. Mm-hmm. You really can't get along no longer. Okay. Because her spirit is now entering into you by the man ejaculate into you. Mm-hmm. So now you got three spirits are fighting one another. Mm-hmm. So you have this chaos going on. So he now see you because of the spirit, this spirit fighting mm-hmm. as now his enemy because you don't like me, you hate me. Not to forget, but, I don't all know. It, all, I can go to all of it. Yeah. And so now she's telling him that she ain't being a real woman and she ain't taking care of you. So she's doing all the things mm-hmm. to take care of you on the outside because you with your mouth mm-hmm. is giving her the weapons. Okay. So she's using those weapons. Listen what you say. My wife ain't sexy no more in bed. So she goes and get the most sexy clothes. You exactly tell her what to do. You ask what you what you was telling her what you need to tell the wife. Exactly. But exactly because of, so. Because of the spirit fighting, there you, can be no you peace. Put it, you put it on the spirit, right? Yeah, it's no peace. But, but let's 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 backtrack this now mm-hmm. before the spirit entered the room. Mm-hmm. That's what you should have done before going out there. Communicate your hurt, communicate your desires, and 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 basically negotiate for improvements in the situation. You will answer my question when I talk about it. That's what's going to next, but you answer it. Yeah, what you say you said communication, right? But guess what? Mm-hmm. That's a fool's man's dream. What you mean, fool's man's dream? Let me show you. It ain't a Bahamian man's dream. Yeah. Because it's a fool's man's it dream. is so oh, Bahamian oh, man, men, frustrating. Bahamian men don't base their relationship on communication because they don't communicate. They're not good <laughs> communicators. Right. So what they rather do is show by action. But don't you know that action is a form of communication? Exactly. But. They come home, they withdraw the action, they withdraw their money, they withdraw. See, that's what they do. That's the Punishment. first thing they do. Yeah. Punishment. So they when they their action was to pay the bills or cook the buy the food mm-hmm. or pay the school fee. Mm-hmm. So the effect of the marriage now just ripples on yeah. down, right? So down. now what's happened? The wife every bill. The wife moat become louder. Okay. Because of the action he's taking. Mm-hmm. He thinks he's taking this action to make her better. Uh-huh. But, but in what essence, he's doing, he's increasing it worse. his chances. And so or decreasing his yeah. chances of and it what happened, better. it's become started to divide and tear apart. Mm-hmm. And when you try to put this together, remember that spirit is in the middle also. You'll never get that together because that spirit, every time you get so close, mm-hmm. that spirit say, no, no. See, because now what what the spirit on the outside now comes inside. Mm-hmm. So the woman on the outside ain't got to do nothing no more. Every time, real talk, this mm-hmm. real talk. Mm-hmm. Folks, listen to this. This is real talk. Every time you and your wife try to make it in the bed, mm-hmm. try to make it. The mind is out there. The, yeah, the spirit. Who mind is the, the spirit? Put her on the hold spirit on, on. now. The spirit. the spirit that's within you. Yeah, the spirit. The man. Who no, between been out the, there. between the boat. That spirit with the check. That spirit say, no, 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 no. Mary got the better. Mary's move better. Mary, Mary willing to suck your thing, and Mary willing to do it. And and you. So, yeah, so you Mary in, spirit. Yeah. Or the spirit of Jezebel yeah. as they have a tendency so, to label it. And so, and this 
happens now that it started to, this we talk our topic, mm -hmm. it started to affect the children. Okay. Because when you used to take your daughter to Wendy's mm -hmm. on a Saturday morning, mm -hmm. you ain't got no time for no more. No, because you now got to go check out the right. girlfriend. So your time is being shared. Mm -hmm. And so what happens now? Neglect sets Neglect sets it. So your mm -hmm. daughter withdraw. Mm -hmm. She withdraw because she more stuck to the, mo the man than the mother. Because mm -hmm. she, see, she see you with all mouth, rowdy, and, and, and I can't deal with you. So she loves her father. Mm -hmm. Now, what has happened when her father don't pay attention? She put hell on you because she blaming you for my daddy not being home. So unfair, isn't it? No, but this is the way it happens. See, but it's unfair. It, it might be unfair to you, but this is the way it happens. So it ain't unfair. It might be unfair, but this is a way. So what my show, the show today is based on behemoth woman. When they see these first signs, mm -hmm. do you it quickly because this is going to be a monster. So the burden of proof is on the woman to pull the marriage back because together. Because men has, see, men think with two things. Mm -hmm. What are they? One head down. They uh, don't use this one. No, no. They, use the, the, they think like with that. Okay. And what else? And their eyes. Okay. So what they can't see, if they can't see you doing something for me, mm -hmm. if you if you ain't cooking and you ain't cleaning and you ain't, they can't see that. Mm -hmm. That means you know you could do things to mentally stimulate his mind. He can't see that. He, he can't see the. It's just like you and you speak to him. You tell him, say, that girl. Every time you come here, that girl shows up. She just a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better watch this girl. This girl, a woman see that. A man ain't see it. He ain't yet. see that. But a woman tell him, you know. But. And he still ain't see it. But guess what? He sees it, but not from the eye that the woman sees it. Because that same young lady will begin to hold a conversation and she is flirting her eye out. Mm -hmm. And the woman see it. And all you see it is. Her being nice. Right. Because, like I say, we don't think. But uh, we don't do that. So sad. Yeah. And, so, and it is unfortunate because at the end of the day, you know, not to put the blame anywhere. Because I agree with you that, and sadly, men are the majority of individuals who are at fault. But there are some men who suffer because the woman is the guilty party. Granted, but you know, in those cases, they are rare and special. Yeah. They're rare and special. What makes it special? And most times, the man who get punished mm -hmm. is the man who's trying to live right. True. You see, and you ever hear good guys finish last? <laughs> <laughs> For good people, period. Yeah. yeah. You know what's amazing? I can say this, and I want you. I want you to take this for a bit. Take it and, and, and listen to this. This really. Mm -hmm. You know when you as an individual try to eat right, try to exercise right, and then, but you're still catching the disease. You're still getting cancer. You, well, well, but, guess but, what? But, That's but, because some elements are missing. But hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me give you another one. Mm -hmm. You. Putting your ties, you live in right, you're going to church, it is that. But you're still poor. But you're still broke. Yeah. Because again, some elements are missing. Yeah, Sometimes right. it could even be the motive that's yeah. that's off. But yeah. And you say you're trying to do everything right and mm -hmm. but right. all the other people around you are becoming fortunate and wealthy and healthy and decent and <laughs> Well, there's something called the law of attraction that is very deep. Yeah. And that could be what and is so it, out of sync in the life of such an individual. And so it's hurting. It's hurt my heart. Mm -hmm. You you see these guys dealing drugs and you ain't dealing drugs. You're trying to work hard and listen. And they're living the life and you're still struggling. But what you have to do is... And then somebody can come up and tell you, say, well... He can burn in hell. 
Who can burn in hell? The, the wealthy drug, person. The drug, yeah. The wealthy person. Yeah. What fool talk? Because guess what? You even really, you even really know if this man going to hell. Only one God know that. So, or, or, or you got to go to, okay, let me, shoot me. Let me go to hell to find out and come back. Nobody never come back. So, I you, see, fool talk, sound good. Fool beliefs. Sound good. Yeah. Fool talk come from foolish beliefs. Yeah. And, and a lot of our beliefs are foolish, foolish. unfounded, and guided by a misinterpreted book. I ain't gonna uh, say by the book now. No, the misinterpretation of road. the book. One of these days I can take on the Bible, do you know? Misinterpretation. We can, we can, we can of bring the, book. the Quran and the Bible and all that right We can go to them and do the life. It, listen, it doesn't matter if it's the Quran, if it's the Bible, if it is some other gotta, Torah. It is the filter, it's the individual, and that is why. For me personally, I believe that each of us must make it a deliberate, personalized Excuse journey me. to find out, don't only find out about Christianity, find out about all religions. Yeah. But but in relationship, right, I notice in relationship, mm -hmm. especially here in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. you're struggling and most relationships are not happy. They stay together now. Sometimes, but sometimes guess they're, what? But they're, they're so... And, and you know what disturbed me? I can ask you this question because you mm -hmm. go in this mm -hmm. category, I guess. Mm -hmm. Why are there so many women without men? Why are so many women without men? I think mm -hmm. a man may be able to answer that better because men are probably the reason. You want me to answer? Tell me. I Tell us. I got the answer. What is it? Because they lie and they have somebody in hiding. Okay. Yeah, they, they got somebody, but they just see somebody else's husband or somebody else's husband. But hold on. Or, hold on. Or, or, or they believe the lie, one of the biggest lie in the world and in the Bahamas, is that there's a shortage of man yeah. and all men cheat. That's a lie. They both are lies. Not all men cheat and there is no shortage of good men or men on the whole, let me there say, is no shortage. Let me, let me say this to you. You said something is profound and true. Mm -hmm. Most, see, woman will tell you, man lie and man cheat and man, they, they tell you mm -hmm. that. But you don't know the truth? Tell me. More women cheats than men. I and heard a songwriter say, man, bad, woman, bad. Six of that, same thing. Man, but, cheat, woman, cheat. But there's so many women in the age of 50 mm -hmm. that they will tell you, child, I am mono man, and child, I am this, and child, I am that. I think... Which, is, which might be true. Mm -hmm. Some husband die, and some don't want another man. Mm -hmm. Which might be true. Some of them Based on so their experience. experience. But why? Okay, you said it in terms of what men do. When a man divorce, what do he do? He look for a younger woman. When a woman look for a younger man, what does society say no, about no, that? No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Society, yes. society don't say anything about it. Okay. But here's the problem. Society don't say anybody. Society don't care about it. Society don't care that. Okay, let's let's put it a little further back to a woman have two men, a man have two women, what would they say differently about the woman that they would say about the man? Hold on. I got the to woman say. is a hoe, well, I don't but the man is just a lover. Yeah, but you don't get it. Let Go me ahead. tell you what happens. Mm -hmm. But all the women, and the reason why they do not date because younger guys, all the women whose husband dies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is because they have children. And but they, that's one reason. And they are saying to themselves, I am going to put, put my, my children, children because you, you know why? But that's foolishness. No, 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 no. Let me tell you that's some of the reasons why they take men other than their husbands out of the pictures. Because, trust me, Tony, men are, quote unquote, what's the D word? I bring you in my house for me, and next thing I know, in the middle of the night, you sneak in to go either for my daughter or my son. But hold on. 
that is not. That's enough. one of the greatest fear that yeah. women have. That might be fair what you have, but you don't. Why have... you say you? Yeah. Don't personalize okay, it. Okay. I don't have that fear. But you don't need to go in and have that. What you need to do is find yourself a nice person. How do you find yourself it's a nice simple. person? It's simple. You, yeah. Everybody knows somebody, and somebody hook up somebody, and you can find. But. But it's okay there's, for the woman to be comfortable by yeah, herself. But there's know? too many women out there over the age of 50, or their husband died, or this, they are so unhappy. They will tell you they're happy, but they're so unhappy. They may be fearful. Not yeah, only why that, would, why not would only you that the life? husband may have taken everything out of them that they don't even want to see another man meaning that the experience was that bad for her okay then fine but stay out of other people's relationship yeah why are you laughing <laughs> because oftentimes why are you laughing men men form a beeline to such vulnerable women Oh, she by herself. I ain't got to worry about this. I ain't got to worry about that. She by herself. And what you do is you come with all your sweet talk, all your niceties, all your helpfulness until you get, and then everything what you was doing to get there, you stop doing because now you don't have a hook. Men are so Let's hear this. crafty yeah. in their approach to women. And that's why a lot of women say, you know what? I'm doing that. You don't think women are crafty? You always say they are. And there are some who are. I but most women after a marriage, now if she is a woman of Christian principle and an upstanding woman in society, she may do one of two things. She may get involved with another man and never marry, or she may just marry for the sake of shutting the people mouth but that is not a reason to enter a marriage and so many are broken hearted in their marriages so many women have listen i have people call me this is why the show was was planned because so many people call me about how unhappy they are with their marriages mm -hmm. but imagine so i'm trying to figure out why that marriages are so unhappy. Mm -hmm. And I come to conclude that it's because your marriage was not properly from day one. That's true. And the you, foundation yeah, was not you properly You decide made. to marry this person because you think and you know, some of you know that this was going to give you trouble. Some of you know already this wasn't going to work. Some know, but you still do it because I get pregnant. Or, Tired being alone. Or my family like this guy. So my family like him. And, and, and also, you know, just for the security yeah. of having a man around. And because he have money. And because my clock run out and I need a man. And I need a man to have some that, children. That's the, first, that's the first. So that's it's the crazy. first marriage you're not talking about the ones who was already married it's a switch now okay yeah. and so we need in this country mm -hmm. we need a, bump, a new beginning for our sisters a new beginning for our sisters our sisters need to take a good look so we don't need a new beginning for our brothers no brothers can Brothers can be brothers. Please, brothers boy. can be. You see, hear that? You hear brothers that? Brothers can be brothers. So how the sisters gonna get when the brothers are gonna continue the way they are? Well, the woman has to be smart now. The woman has to see because the woman is the one who complaining. Dude, let me tell you. I, let me be real. If you see be me, real. if you see me, have an issue, right? Mm -hmm. With uh, my marriage or relationship. Mm -hmm. I strong enough to say, baby, this ain't working. You are? And if she says she hanging, I go and look and swinging. 
Okay. And I go in looking for something new. And she won't stay. That's fine. But I gone. See, that's the difference. But see, woman has this tendency to hold on because, oh, I don't want nobody else in my life. I then, everything with him, and I got to get used to somebody else. What do you mean? Getting used to somebody else is beautiful. <laughs> Say Crazy it again. Woman. Say it again. Getting used to somebody is beautiful. It's a new beginning. It's a new day. It's it's bringing a new perspective. It's learning somebody new. New is always good. You like new clothes? You Try like a new, new man. You like new TV? And when you get a new car, you get excited. So try so a new man. Try a, try a new key. The, at the, at the, yeah. at... So... You rather stay in this relationship. Where comfort you, zone. Comfort zone. You rather stay in this relationship where you hurting these children. These children going to hell because the daddy, probably even in the daddy. That's why the daddy probably put up with you anyhow. The daddy probably realized, you know, you're a woman, something else. The daddy probably done had a DNA and he, he only stay in there because. You kind of like the children, and I know such bonding, attachment. I know situation that, like yeah. this where the daddy, you know. Listen, folks, and if you challenge me, I know about mm, six different relationships. People call me up and tell me that they find out that they one of their children ain't theirs, mm. but they stick with the marriage, and the reason why because they don't want to hurt the children. But 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 but. Think about it now. Think about it. Women, the stick, when you have three outside, she only have one and you want to leave? Yeah. Why? Why? Will Isn't leave? that an unfair? Why will leave? Yeah. Because why should I stay? But you this okay, let's I'm let's, done with that. Let's let's backtrack, right? On. Let me talk about no, me. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Go Listen on. to me. I can right? talk about me when you finish. Listen to me. You find out about this when the child already 18, 20, maybe even six or five. The relationship was good in spite of it. We, we, I conceived this child when our relationship was at an all-time low and you was out there doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. So I look for comfort. I get pregnant. But you don't know that I was out there. So the child now, we done christened the child, the child bearing your name, you and the child so close and all of that. Me and you grew closer, okay? We mm -hmm. resolved our situation. And now because you discover that this child is not yours, what? What do you mean what? What? Am I? So it ain't yours. Well, guess what? But you have three out there that you bring home and I accept. So why you can't accept the one that I can see? I can, with yeah, I, I will accept that one. Right, but watch this, because I got three. I bring in myself this one, but guess what happened? Let me show you how I roll, so mm -hmm. folks. Let's, let me show you how I roll. Let's say how men roll. This, no, no, this is how I roll. Go on. And if you want my inheritance, you have to take a DNA. So all them women I married to, who I have children for, they gotta take DNA. Why are you looking at me like that? If that's your choice, that's yeah, your but power. No, no, the point is, because where I sit, mm -hmm. what I see, what I hear, what people bring to me. In recent times. Yeah. This it now makes scary. you wonder. Man, it's scary. And I talk him, but I see this in black and white. But that has been going on for a long time. Remember from we started the show, we were supposed to be having a discussion. Your daddy ain't your daddy, but your daddy don't know. Man. Because it is a integral, profound, it proliferative. It is scary. Oh, dear. It is just abounding in our society. We need, what's the man name? Maury Show for some of these people in the bar. If you all think I joke in the Bahamas, it's worse than Maury Show. I listen to this. I want you to listen to this before. I go. But you know, this is what some of the secrets in marriages. That's why some of the marriages ain't working. There's okay. so much secret. There's so many things going on in the background. You might wonder what happened. The so what does that say about bar. us? What does that say about us? We are a bunch of lion. 
but we are also People. dysfunctional. Yeah. We don't have the skills for establishing and maintaining healthy relationships. Don't marry me. Don't marry a guy. If you know you can't put up to his sexual need, don't marry him. Don't fool him. How we, do you know? How do you know? When in the Christian on, society, on, you're on. not supposed to even you touch know, them before. You know your limits of what you can do and what you can't do. But if I was a virgin and I grew up in a Christian home and 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 the list goes on of explanations That's of different. inexperience. I can train you. That's different. Oh, but if I ain't open but, to your training. Right. You come, you come, this old woman. You come now, you take me, you make it love to me five days a week because you want me. But four years or three years down the road, you only can take one now. You're ducking me at all costs. I, I got this to do. Because I, 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 got... I, I four years older. I four years You're supposed into... to get better. No, 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 no. Harder. Yeah, sweeter. that's true. But guess what? Jumping you ain't and get bubbling. no better. You ain't get no sweeter. The... You stop doing this for me. You stop feeding me emotionally. So I gone dead. I dry up like a prune. Well, you shouldn't go dead because I ain't dead. See, that's the key. Yeah, but then you keep me alive but I, emotionally. But you didn't give me that opportunity. Every time I try to do it, you oh. keep on having an excuse. Oh. See, margin, marriages is now 50-50, but margin, a good margin will be 50-50. It's supposed to be 100, 100. No, a good mind. Everybody's that's, supposed that's to come foolishness. with their full deck. That's foolishness. Fully loaded. There's always got to be a fool in the match. Somebody there's who, no, I hate there's that somebody word. I hate that who word. Got a, to somebody who will have to say, okay, because if you have two bully heads beating every Sunday morning, you got chaos. The only way to match Basically, like you say, somebody. but guess what? Let's not put it as a fool. Let's say a marriage should operate like a seesaw. Okay. One day you up, the next day I up. The next day you up, the next day I up. But guess what? Do you know how, you see how that swing operates, right? I don't come up on my own unless you put the weight to get me up there. That's yeah. how a seesaw but, operates. But a, and that's how a marriage should operate. Right, but a woman don't want most times to be no. led. Who says anything about being led? You talk they don't about, want to be submissive. You talk about they, love walking. Yeah. Right? So basically, honey, keep me, keep my head, keep my brain occupied I, with thoughts of you. I marry you. And have I know you marrying you was strong. You wasn't so strong. Mm -hmm. And I could carry you. Mm hmm how they carry you. Oh, so that's the control now. No. So basically, it ain't carrying, it's controlling. No, no. Because if I hold your hand and say, let's uh -huh. go, <laughs> and you come, uh -huh. you're a good woman. Okay. But if, if I hold your hand, and you say, and where, you, where you and carrying you say, me? Get, then something wrong. Yeah, you know what it is? Yeah, it's absence of trust. Because when you trust an individual, they could blindfold you, they could guide you. They could do anything, and you will just slowly, just like a baby, you will go wherever they lead you because there is an element but of I trust. But I'm a good man. You marry me. But then you're supposed to trust me. I trusted you. You know, no, no. I mean, trusted you. You supposed you, to trust me to the end, regardless of how much you change, right? Yeah, you supposed to trust me. Regardless of how and now, much you last change. Last piece, because our time short. Let me get yeah, let time. me get the last piece in. Mm -hmm. The last piece in. You really want really to know why some of these marriages don't really work? Why? Because the truth is, most men can't stay with one woman. Okay. And so... And you, every woman... To... And every woman... Let's add that little piece before you say... And every woman expects to have her own man. Okay, fine. But you trying to fit in something in a bottle... But this thing you trying to fit in the bottle is bigger than the bottle. That can't work. And some, most of the human women got to understand that men around the world.
gonna use their dick because that's what they do. And you have to make up your mind wise. That's their favorite tool. Right. You have to make up your mind wise that majority of the men you marry are sex predators. Predators. They love sex. But, but but wait now, wait now. You see, predators give it a con connotation like they just go on the prowl. They just take whatever without even getting in your consent. Face, in your face, in your face. They are saint. They're good men. The minute you move behind your back. So let me ask the question. They are on the run. So let me ask the question. And I'll call, make it worse. So let me ask the question. Even if the woman is a good woman and the woman is delivering what you desire as you desire it, she still could expect you to go out there and have one. If you come from a background of infidelity. Oh, so it's a socially learned behavior. Yes, it is bred in you. You need deliverance. Okay. So ladies, you need to seek out a culture where men are raised to have one woman. And if... It ain't in the Bahamas. And if the father and the mother of that man lives in an environment where infidelity goes on, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, your marriage will be the same. Yeah, affected by and, it. And so... Ain't this coming is right back to the reasons. same yeah. spirit, but a, a, yeah, in a similar a vein. And so this is why hereditary or this is why most of the marriage on the rocks today. Mm -hmm. Because now watch the big surprise here. Men and women. Because don't let the woman out now. Men and women here in the Bahamas does the same thing. Women are on the prowl. So you don't let nobody. Oh, somebody. Uh, who's it? Don't Sharon let, at. Hey, no. Sharon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going to answer you right now. Um, men and women in the Bahamas, they play this good, good game of the decent people, most of them, but it's in their genes and DNA. Sexual activities is rampant in the Bahamas. This is what. This is what we do here. From small. Check the courthouse. Oh, we just getting your message now. We just, again, <laughs> now, Sharon at Tony, what your oh, I say what your wording? Please. <laughs> my wording is deep. I wonder what that was you talk about. We just getting it all now. Okay. We just my wording. What do you mean my wording? I'm trying to Sharon at say Shane in the Bahamas. And she's enjoying the show. She's just laughing. Okay. Laughing ahead. Huh? Sharon, you're having a ball, eh? Thanks for joining us yeah. out of Freeport. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Um. And so, what? 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 And this is who? Um... Yeah, Sharon had out of Freeport. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then Marcia is Marcia, in Nassau. Okay. Nassau. Okay. Right. And so, and 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 what is what has happened? See, we cover up some of these things. Why are you think the court every day in the court? You hear about molestation mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. every day, every day, somebody getting charged. And it's not just the bad guy in the street, pastors, policemen, businessmen. And the reason being, we are juice and country. And some people just trying to hide. Listen, it's okay, so to high be, it's okay, on it's, it's okay. To have your sexual expressions, it's okay to have your sexual freedoms, but you got to know your boundaries. My, you have to know your boundaries. The boundaries. You don't get hauled in the front of a court for an adult unless they cry rape. And but especially for a child. In, watch this now. Especially in Freeport, mm -hmm. they ain't got no boundaries. I've never found a place where everybody won't sleep with everybody. It's like a crazy thing. And it's, it's crazy. And new piece, what I call new meat, come to town. Mm -hmm. they, everybody line up. But, and so 
what most of the marriage is having problem is be because Sharon, woman, say you're killing our Jews in country. Man stepping out and men stepping out on their wives. Honest to God, some of your wives just boring. Let's be honest. Some of your oh no, no, no. hold on. You gotta answer me. Some, some wives are boring, yes. Some of the wives. But you never answered my question. I can answer now. Some of the wives are, are, are so busy trying to take care of the children and the mommy and and the husband, what the husband want. They boring. They too tired. So what see we we done discuss that. So I haven't even gonna mm -hmm. open up that again. So what they need to do? Help. No, help, need... help, help. No. They need to get smart. Who the women need to get yeah, smart. Yeah, they need to get and smart. And don't have no children. No, 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 have the children. No, no, no. Don't no, have no. them unless the man they need sign to a contract smart. to help raise them. No, they need to get smart and balance it. And tell some of these men, you won't go around the corner to do you do. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, get me with you. Because I go around the corner too. Mm -hmm. With you. Mm -hmm. See, in the Bahamas, most men get too much free reign. I agree. I I own cooking and cleaning and I just and I work. Slaving. It, and I, yeah. Slaving. Why the dude out there go having around, party every day? Bar. Every day of the week. He go come, to work and then party in the evening. Go he, to work, party he, in the, and the woman go to work, come, come home, home nine with the children, do the laundry, do the dishes, he come home to have a clock. Do everything. He, listen now. He come home to have a clock after he then been to the bar. Mm -hmm. And then and if he come on five o'clock and he's a Christian, he go church all day on Sunday if you want. And he ain't gotta come when he come on five o'clock. And and then they complain when the woman is tired, and then what you say, roll over. And then y'all get offended when the woman say, hurry up, because I gotta go to work in the morning. So, so this would give the woman out there to go juice because the band never round. So and, that's and, why, hold up, now watch this. That's why I tell you the woman do it so much because the man never, he he did a, he did a bar with his friend, okay. drinking rum by the woman juicing. So you, you, you know plenty song out there, right? Who's making love while I out there, right? No, because- The, the boy just said a new song. Well, new song. even, 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 um, um, what's his name? The Bush Mechanic and-, and No, the no, Ooh. there's one, there's one, um, uh, something but taste your honey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Mac. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But in essence, you know, we as we we need to wrap it up. But um, yeah, because we're twelve minutes yeah. over our time. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up, and once we once we once once we wrap it up, and um, we're gonna take on a new show next week. It'll be it'll be amazing what we're gonna do next week. Every day, ah, Tony boy. got a surprise for you. Ah, but boy. thank you, everyone, for mm -hmm. joining us today. And definitely, Tony will come up with a bright topic. I'm not the one to determine that. And so. Sharon, that juicing is serious. I know <laughs> where I get that from. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, ah, boy. That you, I tell you. Yeah, Sharon, that's a tasty honey. That's the song. With yeah. Rides you old looking. The sugar. Right. Somebody, somebody tastes your honey. Right. Yeah. And see, and, and and that's a true song. See, when guys sing songs like that, mm -hmm. they know what they they know what they're talking about, you know. Experience. Or they have a friend that's going on. And the Bahamas becoming a juicing nation. Becoming. Or okay. <laughs> We're turning to a new page in juicing mm -hmm. because now um the woman who's a stay home and say they ain't going looking for juice they juicing and they double they doubling up they doing it better than the man oh okay yeah what they juice on top of him now they say brother you do you start this i can feel the woman woman vicious you know so so neglect don't neglect your relationship uh, but you know we really have to go into the art of choosing a mate that is compatible. Ah, that is key. The problem with that is this. 
when you find somebody is part of a Jew. Compatible? Yeah. You, you don't want it. Uh, or you want to stay where you are yeah, stuck yeah. in you only want it. La La La. See, see. Misery like, like company. company. So you don't and so you, you don't so, want to go you want uh, so you we want misery. programmed we programmed yeah. to live in misery. You a good guy come, you say, but, but he look like a sissy. I had a conversation yeah. just yesterday. You a good guy come because he clearly like better that. or you or you or you well mannered or yeah, he's too soft for me. I'll yeah. steamroll him. What mm. what you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I mean, I, I, I am a heavyweight woman, and he may eat. I don't want to break him up, you know? You need um, a yeah. nice man in your life sometime. You need somebody to bring a new perspective, a change of atmosphere, a decent, a, a, a loving, caring individual who, who understand passion, who <laughs> understand love, and will take care of you and take you on to the next level. Mm -hmm. You so used to bad treatment, you 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 done stuck in that mode. Oh, mm -hmm. but if you don't cost me, you don't love me. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Craziness. Okay. Anyway, we gotta go, and and we have to come inside today to do this because of the rain. Because of rain. Mm -hmm. But it was a beautiful day outside. The rain is beautiful. When I used to be in Hereford, um, when I used to be in. London and England and this that Hereford, mm -hmm. Hartford. Hartford, yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to go to a little bar. It's rain a lot, all the time in Ireland. Rain all the time. Oh, okay. And so when I go across Ireland with them white boys and we sit down, it's rain. We go in the pub. And when we come to the pub, rain, rain don't stop nothing. Down. And rain don't stop nothing. But you can't sit out in the and rain. And these dudes trying to tell me, I must walk to the car five minutes away where the car is in the rain. I used to be him and I say, brother. Leave me brawly, right brawly umbrella. Yeah. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Be you sure very to much. Tune in again next week at 4 p.m. when we introduce yet another. And when you meet a big juice or break of running, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I'll be <laughs> Sharon. Sharon Edward, I know if you saved. <laughs> oh, Sharon, I saved by the blood of. The, the blood, lamb. Yeah, yeah, the blood of the lamb. I, I save. I, I, um, Rodney Monka, tell me I save. So, <laughs> <laughs> take care, Sharon. S. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Sophie, Valencia, yeah, be nice. Be good. Wedding flow next Ruth, week. Tammy, Marcia, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to see and to the Francis to family. be with us again next week. Have my condolences once more. The Carlton Francis family, mm -hmm. have my condolences to mom. And the whole crew, I hope you all taking it slow until I get there. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Goodbye. And enjoy, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Holiday yeah. weekend. Yeah, Sharon. Enjoy Monday as a holiday. I know you're partying. Stay Thank you. <laughs>